What's going on, true believers? It's your man Believes. Guys, if you are afraid of COVID and you fear for it, put basic attention token in your wallet because apparently it's immune. It went up over a dollar eighty last night from a dollar almost a day ago. So if a couple of weeks ago when I said get in on it, you got in on it, you're welcome. This was not financial advice, but I was right. All right, guys, some of you have been following me for a long time, and you know that I am not a fan of coincidence, but guess what just happened, Coinky Dinkley? Today is Shorts Get Wrecked Friday. It's a closeout for the month. There's hundreds of millions of dollars in Bitcoin shorts coming due, uh, bill, uh, hundreds of millions of dollars in ETH shorts coming due, and what happened? Well, <laughs> Six hours ago, a new COVID strain popped up in the middle of Africa, and suddenly financial reporting companies, MSNBC, CNBC, they started reporting, wink, wink, that it's everywhere and people are finding it all over. So what does that mean? That means that there was a lot of shorts that were in the financial industry, and we are now in the middle of another manipulation. Now, that doesn't mean that this is a big manipulation. This is just so that the people who shorted it uh, at the end of, for the end of November, this just means that they are clearing themselves out. They are getting out of the market. If you go look, Bitcoin just slumped to a major low. Now, what happened? Two weeks ago, people were telling you that Bitcoin was going to go down to about 54, that it might even go down to 52 before it starts to cascade back up. That's what you were told. And guess what ended up happening? Duh. Something came up at the last minute, and here you are. So what do we do with this information? Well, the information, um, it, it's very easy. Look at those one-hour numbers right now. Uh, right now, Gala, Thorchain, Immutable X, KuCoin, Theta Fuel, Link, Radix, Hedera, uh, Chili's, Sandbox is on a tear again. Avalanche is on a tear. Terra, the old favorites, the, the common ones that keep going are continuing to go because guess what? It doesn't matter. It, it, it absolutely does not matter. You see all of these things tanked. Well, guess what? Now they're going to start picking up steam again. Wink, wink. Suddenly, uh, and what we're going to see is Bitcoin and Ethereum spike just a little bit later on. Do you know why? Because... We are just mere hours away from the end of Shorts Get Wrecked, and suddenly it won't be that important anymore. Now, when we wake up this morning, the New York market is going to have a small correction. It's going to drop, and it's going to drop because that's what happens. Uh, that drop is going to end up being uh, a few you know, percentage point, maybe something like that, then... Uh, uh, one of those Jim Cramer guys or somebody like that is going to be like, no, it's the end of the world. It's the end of the world. I'm selling everything. And then a few hours later, everything's going to pop back up and he's going to be like, <laughs> I was just kidding. Because that's the way they do this. This is a manipulation by the media. This is a manipulation by those in charge. And they're trying to make sure that they get their piece. They're settling in for the last haul. Because guess what? Bitcoin's never been in the red in November. Fact check me, go look it up. It's never been in the red in November. It's in the red right now, which means that everybody pulled a short right now. We knew that this was going to happen, but now guess what we have? We've got four more days of cryptocurrency to fix that. And guess what? It's mental. A lot of people are suddenly going to be buying into Bitcoin. A lot of people are going to be buying into crypto. So is your money safe? Well, if you sold, uh, if you got out, if you decided I'm going to do something else, well, yeah, you're going to get wrecked if you sold for a loss because that means you're weak. So if you did that and if you panic sold, <laughs> you'll never be rich. I didn't sell anything because there's no reason to. Everything is going to spike right back up in the next little while. At best, uh, you can make a, a trade from one product to another. Uh, and, and in fact, if you go to something like Coinbase, you can go look and you can see exactly what works in unison with something else and what works opposite something else. So when you go uh, look at something silly, like, <clears throat> well, let's call it avalanche. You can go find what the volatility chart says about how it works. I guess you can't on here, uh, but you can go check um, uh, 
Coinbase, and it will tell you that Avalanche works 94% in unison with ThorChain. Or, and I'm not saying that it is ThorChain, by the way, so don't quote me on that, but it works 94% with Theta Fuel. It works 90 something percent with CryptoCoin. It works 90% with some of these other ones, but it works negative 5% or negative 100% with Bitcoin, which is way down. So you could you could swing your way through that and continue to make profit as long as you're paying attention to the charts and moving along. So um, guys, uh, today is a good day for you to make plays. Today's a good day for um, uh, nice things to start happening. Uh, you can see that some of these tokens right here are a little bit down. It's gonna take a little bit for it to correct, but guess what? Bitcoin's gonna massively correct uh, Ethereum is going to massively correct. And then all of these other tokens, they're going to get sent with it. And if you don't think that Saitama or Floki or any of these is an incredible buy opportunity right now, you are mistaken. Moving on. All right, Hawkfi, you guys are in an accumulation period right now, still trading at one cent. Uh, that big up is about to happen. Uh, you are even with the previous day, very low volume. A lot of money's getting sucked out of meme coins right now, going into metaverse. It's going into uh, altcoins. Uh, we're in that moment where it's starting to boom and we're starting to see it across the board. We still haven't seen that Bit Bitcoin blow off. We still haven't seen that Ethereum blow off, but they're coming and they're coming very soon. And when we start to see all of that, then things are going to get insane. And you guys are going to hit a big up. But right now it's trading at one cent. Um, I don't have any concerns. But the good news is, in about three days, uh, I'm anticipating in three days, this crazy uh, transfer uh, uh, candle is going to disappear finally. Moving on. All right, Sancho, you're at 36.11. That's down 16% to the previous day. The volume, uh, it's low. And <clears throat> it's going to take a little bit of time for everything to fix itself. Uh, meme coins are not pumping right now. They will be pumping shortly but they're not pumping right now. Most of this is attributable to the fact that Ethereum just dropped 10% overnight. So um, don't worry about that portion. However, um, there's gotta be some marketing. There's gotta be some stuff to let people know that you guys exist. So you got 44,852 holders. They should act like 44,000 people and make it feel like 100,000. Moving on. All right, Floki Vikings, as they say in Australia, Crikey, there's a sale on Floki. Guys, you're trading at 13,536. That's down 20% to the previous day, uh, which was hovering around 1,700. Uh, I have a feeling that there is about to be an enormous lift. Anytime you see this happen, and you do th see this happen from time to time, uh, you see these dips occur. This is what happens right after that dip. So um, don't be a fool. Take your profits to school because it's about to happen again. Moving on. All right, Saitama Faithful Wolfpack, I got something to say to you today. You're trading at $53.99. That's down about 6% to the previous day. But I need you guys to understand something very simple. Right now, uh, your original investors, the people who were early adopters, the people that got on board the train very early, right now they are sucking the life out of you because they are taking profits. Not all of them. But so many people uh, that were uh, early investors, they're getting out and they're taking what is life-changing money to them. Don't fault them for that. That's very simple. Like these people are trying to have a better life. So don't be mad at them for it. Um, I hear a lot of FUD going on in chat when these things are happening. But guys, be faithful to this because there is still an enormous amount of bull pressure. Now, the fact that... Um, the, the fact that there's been so much selling recently, like every time you get this nice little green run right here, it gets followed by uh, some big sale here and there. Um, and this one, I think it just cascaded all the way down here. There was 61 ETH sale. Here's a 20 ETH sale. Here's a 6 ETH sale. Uh, when these things happen, uh, these guys are making their lives better. Don't fault them for that. Don't give them grief for it. Just understand, you are a step away. And let me rephrase that. You are a Cyta mask announcement away from having a life changing up. Because as soon as we get told that Cyta mask is done, then we can move on 
to the next phase, which is the launch of it. Then we can move on to Cytus City. Then we can move on to Wolfcaster. Then we can move on to all of these different things that are in the pipeline that are working, uh, that are going to change your life. This right here, 1698, this is going to be hit probably very, very shortly. Like this is not a long way off. And I know that that kind of sucks when you're seeing all that accumulation and you're seeing, here you go, you get a nice bunch, you get a nice run of green and then somebody decides that they're going to sell off. And you know what? Some of these guys, when they're selling one ETH, they're selling for a loss or something like that, or, uh, cause there's not too much dip in here. So, um, there are also idiots. So just remember that. And remember that as soon as this market, uh, goes through whatever it goes through today, uh, everything's going to explode from there. So say Tama, stay faithful because things are about to get crazy. Moving on. All right, Kishu, that cascade continues on that downtrending line. Um, you're down 11% to the day, down to 2882. Uh, some of that has to do with the oxygen being sucked out of the market because of the new COVID variant. Um, some of that has to do with the metaverse popping off. Um, it's my recommendation if, um, I, I know that there is one working, but whatever game there is that you guys got going on, it's time to transition. It's time to make that play. Um, I think the metaverse is where a lot of our meme coins are going to have to lean very, very hard in order to make that transition. So, um, maybe it's time to start considering a little more advertising on, um, what game you have coming, um, to make a little bit of a bump, but, uh, you're going to have a big run up real soon. There's going to be a pickup. I know I keep saying that. Um, and, and I keep saying that because it's true. It's just getting prolonged because, um, you know, this market has been very volatile and unpredictable. That is exactly the way wall street wants it to be. So <sighs> the time is coming. The faithful will prosper. And all of you that sold, Ha <laughs> ha! You got wrecked, son. Moving on. All right, Starlink Troopers, it looks like the future is on sale. Uh, there was a massive dip in the last couple of hours because, you know, COVID and stuff. But, uh, oh, also the shorts get wrecked because uh, there's a whole lot of shorts that were coming due. And it looks like the shorts are going to win today. Uh, these things happen from time to time. And you just have to deal with it. But the end result of this is going to be very simple. It's going to be that this run up here will end up continuing because that money is going to come back to the metaverse very quickly. So I can imagine you just bounced off of your support right here. Now you're going back up. And in a few hours, there's going to be these big candles happening right here, taking you guys right back to that big level uh, that you guys need to be in. And it's going to be beautiful to see. And it's coming. So have a little faith and understand it'll be here shortly. Moving on. All right, Kuma. Uh, Kuma, you are at 1536. That's down 20% to the previous day. Uh, you can see here there's just another big cascade of sell-off here. Uh, there's going to be a lot of unfaithful people that are uh, not going to be with you on this journey. That's just a simple fact. Um, you've broken the support line. Everything is kind of trending uh, pretty deep on that down right now, and it's going to be very difficult to get back in. Uh, we're going to have to start looking at the sticks. We're going to have to change the level of support. Everything is going to be different here. Uh, the best thing that you can hope for is that you bounce off of this wall that you have right here at about 14, 14 and a half, and start to cascade back upwards. But um, one of the things that I have said to you in your chat, and one of the things that I've maintained is that without a marketing budget, uh, it's going to be very difficult for you guys in the future because just being a meme coin is not enough in this market right now. Uh, when the meme coin season hits, there's going to be a nice big lift. You guys are going to see it and it will be appreciated and you guys will have a nice bounce because of it. But at the end of the day, what matters is a budget. We are in a new era of crypto. And remember, this is a rapidly evolving era of crypto. Several months ago, we weren't even talking about the metaverse. It was just a pie in the sky. Now the metaverse is everywhere. So I'm going to suggest that if you're listening and you're paying attention right now is the time to start leaning into something metaverse in order to continue this trend. Um, and not this trend, 
but this big trend over here to this upside. If you want that money again, it's going to happen, but it's not going to maintain and it won't maintain unless you start making plans for the future. Moving on. All right, boss track. Uh, you didn't weather the storm last night. Nobody did. Uh, you're down 8% to the previous day, but guess what? You're down less than a lot of other tokens are right now, so be happy with that. That cascade that came down, uh, that was when it rained COVID all over everybody and then immediately shot right back up. Then you had that other cascade because some people got the news a little bit later than other people. Some people were sleeping, et cetera, et cetera. So you're going to have that struggle for a little while. But guess what? Uh, the upside is going to be massive. And BNB is going to start soaring uh, in very short order. Um, I've been told, and I'm not sure... Uh, <sighs> I'm not sure whether it will or not, but I have been told that we can expect that Binance coin BNB is going to hit an all time high very, very soon. And I believe it was 660, something like that, uh, that it hit not too long ago. 654. Yeah, it feels like it was a little bit further back here. Yeah, somewhere around here we were at about 660, and I think that we're going to be testing that in the next little while, and that's going to affect your price to the positive. So um, I think everything is in a good place. Uh, Boss Tracker is looking excellent. Uh, still being worked on. I uh, can't wait for the release. Uh, it's going to be awesome, um, and you guys are going to be part of it. So be happy and be prepared. Moving on. Okay, guys, I don't want to get off on a rant here, but we're talking about meme coins. Most of the time I'm out here talking, I'm talking about meme coins or coins that are meme coin adjacent. And some of those have become what we call now metaverse tokens. And guess what? Grayscale uh, just announced that the metaverse to them is a trillion dollar market opportunity. That would indicate to you that big, big big things are happening. Now, uh, if you are part of any token that is generally considered a meme token, um, right now is the time to consider uh, leaning into the metaverse. We have explored, we have asked for, we have tried to find use cases for meme tokens for a long period of time. And one of the big ones was charity, but charity probably is not enough in the long term for that type of success level that you're looking for. Uh, charity is great, though. Charity is something that if that's what your passion is, then you lean hard into it and you do exactly what you can when you can while it lasts to make the world a better place. And that is one of the most admirable qualities that anybody can possibly have. But at the end of the day, if you want survival and you want long-term growth, then that long-term growth is going to come probably from the metaverse. So uh, you're going to need a game that attaches to everything that you're doing. You're going to need something that creates long-term opportunity for people who are investors. Who are investors? Well, not charity people. The people who are investors are younger people people. And what do younger people like? They like music. They like video games. They like TV shows. They like movies. So lean into what it is that people like. And guess what? You're going to have a cascade of people who are coming to you. Now, if charity is your big function, and that's one of the things that you are the most passionate about, you still need to lean into some of these things in order to continue funding it because you can't change the world if you can't get investors to help you change it. Take that to heart, guys. That's all my time. We're going to have a good weekend. Um, I think the market is going to bounce really hard. Uh, one final thing to remember, uh, all of the markets right now are taking a nice little dip. They're taking that dip. That dip is not going to last because that's not how a dip works. They're going to take that little dip today. And then tonight, um, I think China wakes up. China, When China wakes up around 8 p.m. Central Standard Time, when you start to see that then we're going to kind of know how the weekend plays out. But when we get to Sunday night, um, I expect an explosion Sunday night that we're going to see massive moves start to happen. As soon as China gets up on Sunday, that's going to be that Monday morning for them. And we're going to see some crazy stuff happening. That's all my time. Let's have a good weekend. Let's all prosper. Have a good weekend. I'm looking for the good life. Good life. Sitting on top of the world. I want to be shining like diamonds and pearls.
girls, I want you to go.